The following is a special presentation of Miami All Access, powered by the Miami University Bookstore. Not just a bookstore, the bookstore. Five wideouts in the package for the Gators. Empty backfield, man in motion for the Gators. Into the backfield, the ball snapped by everybody. Into the backfield, Brantley will fall on it. The ball is still loose. Picked up by the Red Hawks and down with it at the Gator 24-yard line are the Red Hawks. So a bad snap. Brantley wasn't even looking for it. It rolled past him and Miami is able to pick up the bouncing ball down the field at the Gator 24-yard line. So Miami looking to get on the board first with 7.15 to play here in the opening quarter. Guys hit the snap, the hold, the kick is on the way. Plenty long enough, and it is good. Miami takes a 3-0 lead on the Florida Gators with 7.01 to play here in the first quarter. A 33-yard field goal from Trevor Cook, and the Red Hawks lead the Gators by a score of 3-0. Everybody in tight, double tight end formation, offset backfield behind Brantley on fourth and less than a yard. The toss goes around the side, it's fumbled, it's loose, still picked up, and Miami will get the ball on down. Emmanuel Moody couldn't handle the pitch. This is an interesting lineup, and now Ryan Kennedy will drop back again, trying the soccer style kick, I'm sure. Man in motion is Robinson. He takes the snap, rolling to the far side. There's the throw back, and it is complete to Kendrick Bruton. First down, Miami! Wow. Bruton coming to the near side at the 37-yard line. He gets 15. Great pass from Ryan Kennedy. They make the soccer-style kick, and he throws back. He gets Kendrick Bruton for a first down. Play clock down to two. Dyser to throw. Stepping up in the pocket, stepping up, finding a man that is Gibbons for a first down across the 35 to the 39-yard line. So a play of about 14 yards. Check that, 16 yards on the pass play to Chris Gibbons, his first catch of the day. Dysert under center with a five-man front by the Gators. They've got eight in the box. They play action, and Dysert rolls to the far side, completes it to Robinson, rolling to the far side, escapes one, down the sideline, inside the 30, and out of bounds at about the 25-yard line of the Gators. That will be a 19-yard pickup and a Miami first down. Excellent uh, play by Armand Robinson to break the tackle that time of Janoris Jenkins. The 10. Dysert will set it down at the 21-yard line. The snap to hold. The kick is on the way, and it is good. So 21 seconds to play in the first half. Miami scores again. Dysert again will work out of the shotgun with Woods to his left. Dysert to throw, looking and complete on the near side. It is Robinson out of the slot inside the 15 and down to about the 12-yard line of the Gators. That'll be about a 15-16 yard pickup, and it'll be a first down for the Miami Redhawks. Dysert to hold, the snap to hold, the kick is on the way, and this one is good. So Cook is perfect on the day, and with 6.33 to play in the third quarter, it's now 21-9. Actually, two as Robinson comes in motion, rolling, and an underneath pitch to Robinson, and he spins away from a would-be tackler and gets about 10 yards on the play. Flight outs to the far side. The snap, play action as Dysert to throw, finds his man Harwell on the far side. Janoris Jenkins brings him down, but not before he picks up a first down. At the 35-34 yard line of Florida is where they'll set it down. So 11 yards on Nick Harwell's first career catch as a Miami Red Hawk. Dysert under center with Woods in the backfield. Man in motion is the fullback Sims. Play action and Dysert to throw. Looking over the middle has Robinson at the six yard line as he hauls it in. And it'll be first and goal for Miami. Snap is down, the kick is on the way, plenty long enough, and it is through the uprights. Trevor Cook is perfect on the day, and it's now a 21-12 football game.